Hey GCS, hope you're having a great week. Today we're going to be doing some cooking. A friend of mine recently shared a recipe with me for two ingredient pretzel bites. She made them and said that they turned out really good, so I thought I would give it a try. You need to set your oven to 425. And then you'll need to mix your pretzel dough together. The recipe only calls for two ingredients, which is one cup and two tablespoons of self-rising flour and one cup of plain Greek yogurt. I don't have any self-rising flour, so I'm going to use instead one cup of regular flour, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, there's one, and then a half. and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix that together and then I'm going to add one cup of plain Greek yogurt. This is a half cup. So I'm going to fill this up twice. Mix it up together. And eventually you'll get a dough to form. Once you have it mixed together as good as you can with a spoon, we're going to start kneading it with our hands. So add some flour to your hands. it for a couple minutes. My dough is a little bit sticky so I'm going to add some more flour. Next you're going to transfer your dough onto a floured surface. I just have a piece of parchment paper here with some flour on it. And you're going to cut it into four wedges. One slice across. And then one slice this way. And then you're going to take each one of the wedges and roll it into a long roll. If it gets, starts to get sticky, start rolling it in the flour a little bit. So I have four long ropes. Next I'm going to cut each of the ropes into one inch pieces. Next I'm going to dissolve one tablespoon of baking soda into a half cup of water. I'm going to add one half cup of water to my pot and 
one tablespoon of baking soda. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to stir it until it starts to boil. And once it starts to boil and all the baking soda is dissolved, you can turn it off. And I'm going to transfer it to a smaller bowl because we're going to be dipping each of the pieces into this mixture. Next, using a fork, I'm going to dip each of the pieces into the water and baking soda mixture and place it onto a baking sheet with parchment paper. Once you've dipped each piece into the baking soda mixture, you can place it into the oven for seven to 10 minutes or until golden brown. When done baking, all you have to do is brush them with some melted butter, which you can melt in the microwave. I only used about two tablespoons of butter. And then you can salt them. Or you can add your own seasonings, like sugar and cinnamon. And these smell so good. If you tried this recipe, let me know how it turned out. You can send us pictures on our Facebook and let me know how they tasted. Have a great day.